So in this video, I'm gonna be going over two flannel shirts that I've been wearing lately. These are two shirts that I've pretty much lived in now that it's it's gotten colder. I, I really enjoy flannel. I don't wear it because I'm, you know, working out in the mountains and I need a $500 shirt. I'm not wearing it because it matches my sneakers. Both of those worlds I don't really fit into. So I just need a flannel shirt that looks good. It's gonna last me a long time and it's serving a purpose. It's keeping me warm. First up is the shirt that I'm actually wearing right now. This is the Mountain Over shirt in red buffalo from the normal brand. And I really like wearing this shirt. I, I just, I've fallen in love with this thing. For reference, before we get into this, I am 6'1", I'm 180 pounds, and I am currently wearing size medium. Now, this shirt has more of a slim tailor fit look. It is gonna be a little bit tighter because it is that slim fit. It's gonna look great on its own, but it's really gonna look good under something like maybe the wax trucker jacket. The mountain shirt that I'm wearing right now is created using 100% cotton. The cotton is thick yarn, so you get kind of a loose weave, which helps keep you warm. And it is finished with an acid wash to give you a little bit more of a vintage look, which I 100% am in love with. Now, the normal brand absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one because of the collar. And I, I have this issue a lot with flannels. And I have this issue with the next flannel that I'm gonna be talking about. Now, it's not a, if I see this, I absolutely hate it. It's something I'm willing to deal with if the flannel is nice. In this case, this flannel is a little bit stiffer. Now, it's super soft, but it holds up and it doesn't kind of butterfly open like I'm wearing some like 70s like groovy disco butterfly lapel. Nothing against that if that's what you're into. It's just not me. Moving down from the collar, we have two really nice buttoned chest pockets. And then moving even further down, we do have buttoned sleeve cuffs. Uh, you get two options, uh, one a little looser, one tight, and then one down here, which I love this one because when you're trying to roll it, and that one's buttoned, it makes it a little hard, whereas you can just kind of open it up and everything is nice. Now, I really love this thing. It's so soft, it's so comfortable, and the normal brand does really good at creating high quality products because I've been wearing this thing and just, like never taking it off. It's, it's super comfortable, but I really think that this is gonna last. Looking at the construction and the build quality of this, I think you've got a lot of years out of this thing in your closet with, you know, pretty heavy daily use. Now, at a price point of $128 or $108 if you use the link in the description below, this would 100% be my first recommendation if you're looking for kind of a good everyday flannel, something that Yes, you can wear it into the mountains, you can wear it under a nice jacket, you can just kind of hang out at home with it. This is really, in my opinion, a good, versatile, just everyday use flannel. Moving on, we have the Coastal Overshirt from Built Basics in Forest Plaid. Now, this one is a bit odd. The material on this is extremely heavy. It's just very thick dense material. And you would definitely be wearing this one as kind of a solo piece. You're not gonna, unless you have a huge jacket, you're not gonna put a jacket over top of this one. And it's heavy enough and the material is thick enough. I would say wearing this as a solo piece, like a coat, you could get away with wearing this thing in like maybe 35 to 40, 45 degree weather, and you would still be plenty warm. Now I run hot, 
So I've had this one in, you know, 30, 35 degree weather, and I stay pretty comfortable. Once again, for reference, I'm 6'1", 180 pounds, and this is a size medium. To me, in my opinion, this jacket definitely has more of a kind of relaxed fit feel. You're not gonna get that tailor fit in and around the waist. It, it just feels a little bit bigger, a little bit baggier, and you also get that ever so modern drop cut hem. If you wanted to be a little bit more trendy, you could order a size up in this and then pair this with a hoodie underneath. I think that when Built Basics was creating this, that was a little bit more of what they were going for. Somebody who's gonna be wearing this kind of as that trendy streetwear piece. But I've found that I really just kind of like it solo on its own, wearing it as like a, a shacket almost. But enough about that, let's get into the material. This flannel is constructed of 85% polyester, 12% rayon, and 3% spandex. So you do have a different build quality and material in this one, whereas the previous one is 100% cotton and thick yarn. Now, I am pretty positive that the color on this one is actually stamped on. So with a lot of higher quality flannels, you're gonna see them pre-dye the yarn before they put the flannel together. Whereas with a lot of kind of more budget friendly options, they're gonna put the flannel together and then they're actually gonna stamp on the, the flannel, the, the look that you would normally get. Now I know a lot of people might be thinking, well, that's not good. Well. Maybe, maybe not, but this thing has been through multiple washes and has been in multiple wet, snowy environments. And I've really had no issues with the colors even running into other clothes or fading. I mean, I've, I've worn this thing pretty heavy and it's held up fine. So I told you in the last one that I didn't really like the collar of this one because as you can see, the collar flares out. Now. Belt has done a really good job at making this collar smaller, so it's not like you're wearing an actual button down where it's a, a bigger shirt or even a heavier jacket. But I think because of the stretchiness in the material and the shorter collar, and it is, it is significantly heavier than the last one, you get that butterflying effect. I'm not a huge fan of that, but to be wearing this jacket in the mountains most of the time, I have this buttoned up pretty close up top, so that goes away. So moving down from the collar, we still get two buttoned chest pockets. Great quality, nothing to complain about. I rarely ever use these things. Going down to the sleeves, this is where I'm half satisfied. So you do get a really nice like cuff here with two buttons. You do get a buttoned cuff on the sleeve. Problem is, you don't get that second button right here in the slit. So when it comes to rolling these, your first kind of flare is easy to do. The second one gets a little tighter and maybe it's just me, but there's no way to get that third one unless you take it off, roll the third one, and then put it on. Okay, so this thing does come in cheaper than the other flannel, which makes sense because you're not getting as high quality of a product with 100% cotton, the, you know, the dyed yarn, you're getting polyester and spandex. I think the $114 that this thing costs normally is fine. You can get it on sale. Belt Basics does a ton of sales and it's on sale right now at the time of this video for $80. Now, if you use the link in the description below, you get an extra $10 off, making it $70. I think that $70 to $80 range for this is absolutely fair. The $114 is a bit of a stretch for me, but like I said, they do sales all the time. If you absolutely need it, you could 100% buy it at the $114 price point, or at normal price with a $10 off, you're right around hundred bucks. I think that's fair. And once again, links and discount codes are in the description below. I know there are thousands 
of flannel brands, types, materials, everything. These are just two that I've been rotating in my personal closet. I love them both. They both serve two different purposes. And if you have another one that you really, really like that you think I should check out, leave that in the comments down below. I'm always looking for suggestions. Most of the time I'm searching for them by myself. So if you leave them in the comments, it might help me discover that one off item that we've all been looking for. So comment down below. If you've gotten any value out of this video, I'd love for you to subscribe, hit the notification bell because I keep saying this, we've got some big things coming and you're not gonna wanna miss it. See you in the next one.